Hi, welcome to this week's edition of The Good News Show. The good news is healing for the past, hope for the future, and honesty for today. I'm Pastor Cheryl. And I'm Olivia. And this is Mika. And we're filling in today because Pastor Rick is... Uh, as this airs on Sunday, is actually on the platform leading worship for the church. So we kind of split up the duties for today. So Liv and I are here, and we were actually uh, bantering around what we were going to use for our good word, which will come up on the slide here. And yes, our good word is imagination. And imagination is the ability of the mind to be creative or resourceful. And let's see, I think just by that definition, we're talking about imagination in a good way. Like, uh, let's say, having fun. You have to be pretty creative and, and thoughtful to have fun. What's another, we were talking about another word that would be to use a good imagination. Entertainment. Entertainment, yes, like making movies yeah. and? Photography. Oh, what? Yes, how would you use imagination? Of uh, just to like figure out like designs for back sets and stuff, you know? Like, and can I do a, sh a little shameless plug? Uh, someone's starting a business, and what might that be called? Hmm. Miss Imagination. Maybe it might be called Payless Photography. Ah, yes. Okay. Seriously, her website is is being built right now, and when you see some of the creative, imaginative shots that she has come up with. Uh, we're, we were just blown away. She did, she's already done a couple of photo shoots and did put together a real quick uh, slideshow so that she could bring it to my office and show it. They were just blown away. So yes, imagination in a good way. And you've heard Pastor Rick talk about before, when you have a negative imagination, you can go into fear and guilt. Mm -hmm. But we're going to be talking about the good side of imagination. Um, you know, God gives you the desires of your heart, well, then you've got to have a pretty good imagination to follow through. So as we jump into our good sayings, Liv, I'm going to have you read those because I forgot my glasses. So here's our first good saying. Laughter is timeless, imagination has no age, and dreams are forever. Hmm, I wonder who might have said that quote. Imagination. It's just a figment. Ah, oh, yes. Walt Disney. Figment probably gave it I away. I miss Disney. Yes, well, one day soon. But yes. guess what? We still have our imagination. imagination. Here's another good saying. I will no longer allow the negative things in my life to spoil all of the good things I have. I choose to be happy. Ah, oh, see, you. happiness is a choice. That's right, because if we wait for other people to make us happy, what happens when they don't? We get disappointed. We get disappointed, right? Yeah. And sometimes, um, you know, I was an only child. You're an only child. We have to be a little uh, imaginative, don't we? Sometimes <laughs> yes. when there's nobody around, we have to think of something to do because cleaning one's room is obviously not high on the list. I didn't clean mine very well either. Mm, yeah. Well, maybe it comes when you're 15. You're like, oh, I just soon watch TV. Uh, oh, and speaking of TV, how imaginative was this young lady to pull together uh, different jobs, serving others, and what happened? What did they do for you in exchange for your working like at the general store and babysitting for well, some of the people? They helped you get a what? A nice big flat screen TV for Ooh, my birthday. For her birthday. So thank you uh, for everyone that did send her birthday wishes. And also, I got some new flashes for my camera and lenses. This girl so. is getting decked out for pay less photography, y'all. Uh, do we have one more saying, Liv? Yes, okay, we do. Okay, that's going to come up on the next slide. Your imagination is your preview of life's coming attractions. Oh, coming attractions. So, it sounds like, to me, a good, healthy imagination can kind of lead to good things later in life. Mm -hmm. So, that's very cool. And uh, now I think we, we have, have a one more good saying. Actually. We have another good saying. Okay, let's put that up there. Imagination is a place where all the important answers live. Where all the important answers live. That, wow. Let me think about, read that again. 
That's Imagination a is a place where all the important answers live. Where all the important answers live. Wow, that's such a unique way of looking at your imagination, where all the important answers live. You know, I think um, and you can you can jump in when when that kind of resonates with you. But obviously, again, what we were talking about is uh, God's desires in your heart. And I don't think you know. There's the old saying: you can never teach an old dog new tricks. Yeah. Um, I think that you know having a good imagination, no matter what it's for, whatever you're going through. And I don't I don't mean I, like get out in the ozones, but you know. Uh, a money problem is a lack of an idea problem, which mm -hmm. is your imagination. I think, I think God gives you the ideas so that you can go forward with them in your life, you know? Mm -hmm. Sure. Because so. yeah. he gave you this idea of uh, starting a little photography business yes. at the age of 14. At the age of 15, I'm just telling you, the equipment that she has <laughs> as, as a 15-year-old will blow your mind. So, you know, we'll definitely let you know when that website is up and yes. running. But uh, just to give you an idea, you know, it started with a little thought. And even Walt Disney, I mean, all of these things started in his mind. Mm -hmm. Remember, um, we, we always, well, if you're from Florida, then, of course, you know the story. But if, you, if you're not familiar with Walt Disney's story, uh, the Epcot, uh, when they opened up Epcot, of course, Walt had long been gone, but his wife was there on the platform, mm -hmm. and they were, you know, doing the ribbon cutting, which she did photography for ribbon cutting. Yes, I did. Yes, <laughs> and when they did the ribbon cutting, and they had Mrs. Disney with all the executives up on the platform, and somebody turned to her and said, oh, you know, it's a shame that Walt couldn't be here to see this, and she said, oh, dear sir, he saw this long, long before. before it was built, and that's the imagination. In fact, I remember Art Linkletter telling a story that he walked on property uh, with Walt Disney from the car to, I think he did like maybe 21 steps in the swamp, because remember, Disney is above ground, yeah. above swamp. If you're not from Florida, you know it gets kind of mushy in places. Anyway, Art Linkletter tells a story about him walking about 21 steps with Walt Disney, and Walt was saying, you know, this is going to be Main Street, and this is going to be here, like he was actually seeing it, and Art Linkletter is looking around at the scrubby palm trees, and, you know, his feet are kind of sinking in, and, you know, I can only imagine the bugs and whatever were there, and he turned around and walked he counted 21 steps back to the car, and he said, for every step, that's, I lost a million dollars because I couldn't see what Walt saw. And yeah. he never invested in Walt Disney World. And he figured, too bad for him. Yeah, <laughs> so that's, that's the key thing with imagination. Well, that, that builds companies, that builds families. Uh, you could put a, a good imagination will carry you through a long way. Yes. yes, we have some good verses to do. Oh, good. Well, all right. Do you want to, why don't you read those? You're doing so good. So here's our first good verse. Okay. Deceit is in the heart of those whose imagination is evil, but joy in that of those whose imagination is good. Well, there you go. And what verse is that? Proverbs 12, 20. See, right there. You can, you can have an imagination mm -hmm. for evil or fear, but we're talking about God's given us an imagination for good. Of joy, yes. Yeah, yeah, peace and joy. If you've got a good, healthy imagination, I think you're doing good. Well, do we have another good verse? Yes. All right. For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. <laughs> they are plans for good and not for disaster, to give you a future and a hope. Aha. Uh -huh, Jeremiah 29, 11. That's one of Pastor Rick's favorite verses. That's right. Yes. I know the plans I have for you. And, um, you know, sometimes when it's... It seems like it's your darkest moment or your darkest hour. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I know even at your uh, young age, I mean, you know, kids go through some stuff too. And, yeah. and as we all did, I think kids, kids think your parents were never teenagers. But, yeah, we all go through some stuff. And um, how, how great it is to be able to have these verses yeah. in your tool belt. So, and, and God gives you the imagination to get through it. Yeah. Yeah, and he, you know, by knowing which his I word. Think, which I think is why some kids have imaginary friends. <laughs> well, that can, 
you know, uh, <laughs> I, would, I would prefer you have the Holy Spirit, but, you know, hey, if you've got a friend that says, hey, let's join together and remember this verse, I think, you know, knowing the word now, uh, you know, even at your age, uh, you know, if something really bad happens right away, you know, God, I know the plans you have for me and they're for good. Because yes. sometimes people not knowingly and maybe not intentionally will do or say something even to adults. I mean, you know, our feelings get hurt, but it's very important if we hang on to Jeremiah 29, yeah. even though it looks bad on the outside, on the inside, we know God's plans for us and they're for good. Yes. And, oh, we have one more verse. I think we have a few more. Are we do, Okay, well, why don't you read that next one? It's going to come up on the screen. Okay. For God did not give us a spirit of Timidity? Timidity. Timidity? That's fear. Okay. But a spirit of power, of love, and of self-discipline. Of self-discipline. Second hmm. Timothy 1.7. Hmm. So, if he's given us a spirit of power, mm -hmm. okay, well, we can use that. We can kind of interchange some of those words as imagination. Yes. So, he hasn't given us fear. But he's given us power, the power to think, the power to imagine, the power to take action in a positive way. Yes. So there, that was a good verse. Okay, now we're going to do something a little unique, aren't we? Yes. Because you're sitting here, so we can't do the magic of TV and have you do the movie of the week. But guess what? I think with we a little a special, imagination. We have a special guest that's going to be doing it. And with a little imagination, let's see if Mika... Can do the movie of the week. Okay. All right. So Mika, Ooh, Mika, take it away for good movie. All right. Okay. Let me get situated here. Okay. Let me sit down. Yeah, I'm gonna sit down right here. Oh, maybe I'll just stand up. Okay. And you're gonna look at the camera and you're gonna say, "All right. This week's good movie is Bridge to Terabithia." This movie is about using the power of imagination, building relationships and family, and overcoming bullying and neglect. And I, I wish Olivia would do this next week, but anyway, that's a good movie for the week. See ya. Thank you, Mika. That was so good. Now she wants Yay. to sit down. <laughs> that's a good girl. All right. Well, that was a little imaginative right there, but anyway. Anyway, it was a really good movie. I know. Oh, my God. I love this movie. This has been one of my favorite movies ever since it first came out. And I think one of the, one of the things that I liked about it right away is how, you know, I've, if you haven't seen the movie, it's really cute. And the little girl there... Um, what the heck is her name? I have no idea. I, oh, oh, she's I just know well. Really she's all movie. grown up now. But I think the thing that struck me is she dresses very avant-garde in the movie, and Olivia's like, "Oh, I want to dress like that." I think her socks didn't match, and she wore—I I don't know—her shirt didn't match, and everything. And I was like looking at Olivia when she was young, and I'm like, "Oh, honey, you're already doing that now." <laughs> and now she's 15. Her socks don't match, but she's got kind of a cool sense of style. I have to match with my shirt and my pants. They I don't know. I love to. this sweater. She just got this birthday sweater, but I just love this sweater. I had and, some extra money, so I went and shopping. And we probably look a little weird f dressed for the people in Florida, but it's like 39 degrees here, y'all. So um, <gasps> We match. Cool. Oh, we Orange, did. Orange, black, and pink. Oh, see, and Mika is even coordinated. Anyway, well, you know what? I... I think our time is kind of slipping by here. I so think so, too. I think we better start wrapping it up. Um, the next slide, obviously, I just wanted to put in there because we're getting near the holidays, and um, this is a very good place to come for the holidays. It's decorated all for Christmas. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to be having a big Christmas uh, community event here. So... You know, obviously, as you know, part of the job for the management company here and the owner of the building is I do the nightly and monthly rentals for the condos. And so here's a picture of some of the condos that we have for rent. And I hope that you'll plan, hopefully, to come out and, and visit out here in the beautiful Ozark Mountains. Mm -hmm. And, oh, before we go, we want to let everybody know about uh, Dad's new Pastor series. Pastor Rick. I said Dad's. 
Pastor Rick's new series called Frozen in Fear, Fear, which uh, he's already started, but stay tuned on Wednesday. He's already done the Foundations for a Fear-Free Living. Um, if you have any type of negative imagination mm -hmm. at all, you definitely want to tune in Wednesdays for Consider This and for the series Frozen in Fear. Fear. And Great series based off the movie Frozen. Oh, you think? So. Anyway. And as always, I do want to thank our online buddies. Without you, oh, we would be not doing as we well. We won't be sitting as, here right now. We wouldn't be sitting here, that's right, because you help keep all of this going and your prayers and your financial support is invaluable to the ministry. And in fact, we always have a gift for our partners here. And as you know, since I'm already decorated for Christmas, I thought what better thing to do, let's get them out early, is Christmas cards. So for our online buddies, for mm -hmm. any amount that you donate to us to keep all of this going and to keep us going, we're gonna send you these beautiful uh, Christmas cards and they even have gold decals to put on the envelopes so and if you're here in in uh, more in Morningside or Missouri I could always do some Christmas cards too <laughs> you know just throwing that out oh, there oh yeah what that was again she's asking for a Christmas card you also get these so you can send them back to her um, and now uh, Liv and I are going to close in a prayer and I just love this prayer it's short and sweet and we're going to put it up on a slide, and Liv and I are going to read it together. And we hope you've enjoyed this uh, unique uh, good news show. And join Pastor Rick on Wednesdays for Consider This. And we will see you here next Sunday for the good news show. And now let's pray together. Lord, may the Lord bless and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. And the Lord turn his face towards you and give you peace now and forever. Amen. Bye-bye. <laughs>